Overall, I really like the iPad. However, there's one thing that I don't like, and that's that the Safari on the iPad doesn't really have true Google Docs support. Sure, you can read your Google Docs, uh, you can sign in and look around, but you can't actually do anything with the documents once you open them up. And there's a bunch of free apps you can download and read your Google Docs, but they don't actually let you edit Google Docs or create new documents, which is the thing that I would most want to do with Google Docs on my iPad. So the one exception to that is not free, um, and it seems to be the best solution I've found so far, and that is Office Squared HD, or if you search for it in the App Store, you're going to search for Office 2 HD. And the app, while a great editor, is a little convoluted to set up, which is why I'm doing this video, to show you how you can set up Office 2 HD, Office Squared HD, how, whatever you want to call it, to sync your Google Docs account with your iPad and be able to edit your Google Docs. Here it is. Once you have Office Squared HD installed on your iPad, uh, you need to launch the application and you're going to add Google Docs to one of the places to browse for files. You'll need to be connected to Wi-Fi or 3G in order to sync up with Google Docs. Now, as you see, when you open the application, uh, it starts out with not having a file opened and uh, looks to see if you have any local files. And if you don't, then the thing that you want to do is you need to configure Google Docs. So to do that, you have to click the back button up in the top left corner first, right up here, which is not very intuitive. So you click on the edit button right up here, and then you click add service, and then you click Google Docs, then you enter your email, enter your password, and then I recommend turning on SSL so that that way if you happen to be connected to a local coffee shop or something, your documents are a little more secure. You have to click save in order to activate it. Now assuming it finds your account, uh, you can then see your Google Docs account listed under there in addition to any other account you have configured. And if you ever want to revisit those settings, just click on it again and you can configure. Now to actually use your Google Docs, you have to click done and then you're back and you can browse any files that you have in your Google Docs. Sometimes this takes a minute depending on the connection. Now to create a document, uh, you just click the plus button and you can either create a document or a workbook. I'll create a document in this case. My document is called test. Once your document is created, uh, you can do most of the standard things that you would do in a Google Doc. Um, you can change the font. You may notice that uh, it doesn't appear that there's the full uh, list of uh, document editing options right here on this screen. However, uh, there's actually a second kind of ribbon of options that's bulleted lists, uh, indent, outdent, uh, and then tables, and the ability to create or add a photo as long as you've got photos on your iPad. So if I choose a photo, uh, like here's from a baseball trip that I went on, grab this photo, use it, and then it inserts it. Uh, into the into the document at the point where the where the cursor is. When I'm all done, I close the document. Um, I have the option to save or not save. Uh, I want to save it, and then just to demonstrate how you get back to it, I'm going to exit out, go back to the the main screen of the iPad, and then open Office Squared HD again. As you can see, it consistently opens in local files, uh, which then requires you to hit the back button. Hopefully, someday they'll fix that. I can choose my Luddington at Gmail account. It'll open up what's there. I choose that test file. As you can see, uh, my this is a test text and the image that I inserted are both there. So there you have it. Office Squared HD, best way I've found to edit Google Docs on the iPad. Uh, you can sync up multiple Google Docs accounts as you can see because my Jake at Jake Luddington account and my Luddington at Gmail account are both Google Apps accounts and I'm able to browse documents on both which is a, another handy feature. If I had 10 Google accounts, I could access all of them. Uh, hopefully, that'll help you out, save you some trouble in figuring out how to sync your Google Docs with your iPad in a method that actually allows you to edit them. For more tips like these, go to jakeluddington.com or check out my YouTube channel and subscribe.